Hey there, this is Peter Gary and today I want to show you a quick tutorial on how to normalize the volume level of different mp3 files. You might have already run into this problem, you know, you go to one website and download the sound effect here and then you download uh, another sound effect at another website and when you put them together in a single timeline you notice that there are uh, differences in the volume level. So if you're using mp3 files, this can be pretty easily resolved by a neat little software called mp3gain. As most of the software I'm using, uh, it can be downloaded for free. So I just uh, google up mp3gain and go to downloads and uh, yeah, download it. Uh, yeah, I've prepared like this little uh, tracks here. You can hear the first one is pretty quiet, actually too quiet. The second one is pretty normal and the last one is actually a bit too loud. It has uh, much clipping in it and you can hear that uh, this like scratching sound. So they're not really optimal. So let's start up MP3 gain and what I really like is that it's very powerful and easy to use at the same time. Just Take all these uh, mp3 files and drag them in here. So at first it takes a while, but then yeah, you see both of the later clips have uh, clipping, which is not good, and the first clip is actually a bit too quiet with a volume of only uh, like 70%. So uh, you just uh, tap in the desired volume like uh, I'd recommend something between 90 and 95 okay and then you just uh, click track gain and all of them will be normalized uh, then you hit exit and you're done that's what I really like about it, it's very fast It's you don't have to like uh, decode and re-encode it it's already done, you're finished now listen to it. Ah, damn. Yeah, it takes a while. Here, now, this is about a normal volume. And here, the same. And also, the last, uh, the loudest clip doesn't have any uh, scratching noise anymore. So, uh, that's the real power of this program. You start it up, it doesn't take long, you just uh, enter the desired value and that's about all. You don't have to like uh, save anything or save as, It's you just uh, directly edit the files you already have and you're good to go. So uh, yeah, if you're going to use mp3 files in your uh, audio or video project, I really recommend that you first uh, gather all the sound effects you're gonna use in a single uh, folder and then run uh, mp3 gain over it. So it's easy to use, it's very fast and I can only recommend it to you. Have a nice day.